Hey guys, in this video we'll be taking care of this area right here where we are going to create a mask that cuts away uh, the part of the hips underneath just to make sure that we have a bit more flexibility as to how uh, this whole area behaves, especially when the character's walking or uh, moving his legs. We want to be able to have a nice curve that uh, doesn't really look like it's a ball here underneath. Um, so just resetting that real quick, we'll create a mask similar to what we've done in the eyes here. Um, so what we're going to do is create our mask using a stroke, again, going inside of the drawing, and I'll be creating just a little line here and then stretching that with the contour editor. And we'll, we'll want to make sure that these points connect to the line. And we don't want to make it too big, but not too small either. Um, we want to make sure that this includes all of the surface here. Uh, sometimes I like to go and use the snap to contour property in here and just make sure that we, um, instead of have having that line connect to the tip here, I'll just delete this part and connect it to the very edge of our line here. We can remove any excess uh, line that we have here. So once we have that, we can do the other side as well. We'll just get rid of that and put that at the very tip of my line, make that a little bit wider. And that seems about right. We we'll just even it up a little bit and that seems good. Again, we'll go into our paint bucket, go into the color and use our pivot color. We really want to make sure that you use uh, a color for your masks that has been created specifically for that because if at some point you want to draw something directly inside of the hips and uh, you're doing so with the color that already exists and you are using that as your mask then things are not going to go over very well. So uh, going back into my node view I'll use again the uh, I'll bring in a cutter right away now that I have it here. We we'll use the color selector node since we used our uh, color directly onto the layer. And I'm going to connect that over here. Let's just get rid of that extra connection here. Um, we'll go into our layer properties, add in the line color that we used. To really filter this one out and bring in another one this time for the mask. So our mask is here. We have the hips which are the ones that we want to cut away. So we'll connect our cutter directly in there. Um, so then we can use that mask to remove the excess part that we had in here. Of course, we need to fill out our mask. We haven't done so already. We'll go and add the color pivots, which is the one that we were using before. So now we can use this little line here to go ahead and move, and it's going to reduce the size that we have in here. So if I wanted to, uh, to remove reduce the uh, the height of the crotch here. We could do that and I could of course uh, go into my node here, connect that to make sure that I can see the whole thing. Go into the solo mode to see this entire thing here and we'll add our performer, same as we did on the eyelid We'll make sure that we start from the tip here. We may want to have one in the center just to get a little bit more control and go around the entire shape here. Doesn't need to be anything too precise if we want to make the cutter zone bigger. We'll be able to just use the handles so we have it follow about the position where it is so that we at least know where our cutter area is. Let's turn off solo mode 
and disconnect that mask from the composite connections. And now we can move this around, create additional shapes. If I turn this off, we'll get a little bit uh, of a better idea just what we can do with this if we wanted to change the shape of the curve here and be able to move this to get a smoother curve and have the legs really kind of stretching and we'll be able to move this over to the area alongside with this one if you ever need to bring that lower or a little bit wider you could use that as well in combo with this one so now that we have this one done we're pretty much ready to move on to creating our merges for these different parts here getting rid of all these little lines that we have on the arms uh, on the face as well and uh, really fixing all of that to make our character look nice as well as invert cutting a few more things so we'll do that in the next video and i'll see you guys there